One out of ten Filipinos suffer from a disease called asthma. Philippines has a prevalence rate of about 12% and ranked 32nd in self-reported asthma. Asthma can be classified as a long-term disease of the lungs or respiratory system. Some refer to it as bronchial asthma. Asthma is the narrowing and swelling of the airways in the respiratory system. These are caused by the chemical produced by the lungs of people with asthma which is called leukotrienes. These events can result to difficulty in breathing, coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Asthma cannot be cured and changes over time, but the symptoms can be controlled. Aside from its classification like allergic, non-allergic, and nocturnal asthma, it can also be classified by doctors based on its severity. Mild intermittent, mild persistent, moderate persistent, or severe persistent asthma. There is no definite cause on how people with asthma acquired it. But doctors say it can be probably due to environmental or genetic factors. Here are some that triggers the symptoms of asthma. First, airborne substances such as pollen. Second, respiratory infections such as the common cold. Third, physical activities. Fourth, cold air or sudden change in temperature or humidity. Fifth, air pollutants and irritants such as smoke, perfume, or cleaning solutions. Sixth, certain medications including beta blockers, aspirin, and ibuprofen. Seventh, strong emotions. Eighth, sulfites and preservatives added to some types of food and beverages. And lastly, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, a condition in which stomach acids back up into your throat. To further understand the risk of asthma, Here's Dr. Daphne De Castro to elaborate the clinical manifestation of this disease. The clinical manifestations of asthma include recurrent episodes of wheezing, chest tightness, cough, and shortness of breath. The symptoms of asthma are often worse at night or in waking from sleep. Usually, they resolve spontaneously or with the inhalation of reliever medications. In other cases, they may, reach, they may worsen over hours or minutes leading to a more severe airflow obstruction and an attack that can only be relieved through extra medication. Some severe episodes are life-threatening, although death from asthma in adulthood is uncommon. Asthma triggers may include respiratory contamination or allergens such as house dust or from pets. Others may be from se several medications. In Mr. Gabor's case, his trigger is physical exertion. There are various tests to diagnose asthma. Some measure how well your lungs work. Others can tell if you're allergic to mold, pollen, or other things. These tests include physical exam where the doctor will check the different parts of your body necessary for asthma diagnosis like the nose and some part of your skin. After that, you will undergo a lung function test. It consists of spirometry, methacholine challenge, peak flow test, exhaled nitric acid test, and chest x-ray. On the other hand, there are two main types of medications used to treat asthma. Long-term control medications such as inhaled corticosteroids are the most important medications used to keep asthma under control. These preventive medications treat the airway inflammation that leads to asthma symptoms. Quick relief inhalers contain a fast-acting medication such as albuterol. They're used as needed to quickly open your airways and make breathing easier. For the prevention, you must take note of the following. If you have asthma, you need to do what you can to cut your exposure to asthma triggers like air pollution, allergies, cold air, flu, cough, sinusitis, and smoke. While there's no cure, there are steps you can take to keep your asthma in control and prevent an attack.